Hi everybody, welcome back once again to this channel. Thank you very much for joining in. Um, it's a new session, it's a new edition, and I'm very, very excited for this lesson, really. It's a grade 11 to 12 quadratic sequence. There is a quadratic sequence session for grade 12. Uh, quite very exciting uh, because it's it's it was focusing on four possible challenging questions. I, I think it's the video that has the most number of views in this channel, right? I'm just going to drop that link on the description so that you go and watch it also. This is also quite an exciting, deep conceptual quadratic sequence question that I would have wished I saw it before I recorded the four challenges so that I make it the five possible challenging quadratic sequence question because it's really exciting. It's a bit challenging, a bit tricky, and I'm very excited to, to be uh, solving with you today. Uh, without wasting any time, if you're new to this channel, guys, please ensure you subscribe, share the channel with your friends, tell everyone there's a YouTube and, and quite exciting videos are being recorded. And um, just like the video, make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every time that we upload a new session without wasting any time let's get straight into it okay so we are given that a quadratic sequence with the general term tn has the following properties we are only given two properties we're given that term 11 is equals to 125 tn minus tn minus 1 is equals to 3n minus 4 and the question says determine the first term of the sequence all right remember this is a what is a quadratic sequence okay maybe the first thing that we can realize in this question obviously we are looking for term number one right but then maybe you can ask yourself how how can we express term number one in a quadratic sequence okay remember the general formula for a quadratic sequence is tn is equals to a n squared plus b n plus c right meaning that if i need term one where there is n i go and put one and this will be a into one squared plus b into one plus c then you'll find that term number one is basically a plus b plus what plus c okay so now we have a clue in order for us to get term number one, we need to get the value of a, right? What is a? What is b, right? And also what is what? What is c? If we manage to get a, b, and c, then we get the first term of this uh, quadratic sequence. I think this is very important for you to realize, right? Before solving this question. That, okay, to find term number one, I need to get A, I need to get B, I need to get C. Just like the, the, the process that we use, right? This question is not far from when a question that says determine the general formula of, of the quadratic sequence, determine the equation of the quadratic sequence, right? So we need to get A, B, C. In, in that case okay so now you can relate it with a question that says determine the what the general equation the of, of a quadratic sequence because in the general equation of a quadratic sequence we do get the value of a b and what and c right maybe the crisis here now is that oh, oh how are we gonna get a b and c we don't have the actual terms we only given term 11 right we don't know what is term number one obviously that is what we are looking for term two term three term four like that going for term number 10 we are only given term 11 which is equals to 125 in this case right but we are given some something very very useful in this question let's take a look at this uh uh, second point here tn minus tn minus 1 is equals to 3n minus 4 we what is this formula for right what is this formula for in a quadratic sequence obviously we can see that what is happening here is that they are getting the difference between the following term and the previous term right previous term uh, following term 
sadrish and priyavashtam something like that right and actually this we can say this is equals to what the first what the first difference right we can see that because obviously they are saying the following term sadrish and the previous step following term sadrish and the previous step right so this gives us the first difference and we do know that the first difference of a quadratic sequence is actually a what a linear sequence hence the general formula they given so we can see that oh this general formula that is given here it's actually of the first difference of the quadratic sequence and it gives us a linear sequence right remember in a quadratic we have the first difference and we also have the what the second difference and the second difference we call it the second common difference because it must be the same so in this case now we have the formula that gives us the first difference it means that we can actually go and get the values of those first differences there of the quadratic sequence because we have the formula that gives us those right so how can we do this it means what we're gonna do in this case we are just gonna substitute we know that the formula for the first difference here uh first difference is equals to 3n minus 4 right if i need to get possibly maybe let's get four or five first differences right where there is n you're just gonna substitute what one as the first difference second difference um i mean second term of the first difference substitute two third term of the first difference substitute three fourth term of this first difference substitute four then we get the answers there right what are those terms of the first difference so three minus four this will give us minus one three times two six minus four this is two three times three nine minus four five three times four twelve minus four eight okay so we just use that formula that is given to get the terms those maybe four or five right prefer to to get four of of those first differences now we do know the value here when we say t2 minus t1 so it will be minus one right then this will be two this will be five this will be eight okay so now we got the terms now the actual values of the first difference despite the idea that we don't actually have the the, the the values there on top right uh but what was very important or useful in this process is that we were given actually the formula that gives us the first difference all right now that we get the values of the first difference we can now go and get the what the second difference to show that our answers or our values are correct the second difference must be common they must be the same right so this is the first difference obviously um it was quite easier because we had the formula you just had to realize that formula is the formula for the first difference and you can actually substitute n equals to one n equals to two n equals to three n equals to four and actually determine those actual values there all right so now let's go and get the second difference so we say two minus minus one then five minus two 8 minus 5 right remember we said the following term subtraction the previous term so minus and minus will be plus 2 plus 1 this is 3 5 minus 2 3 8 minus 5 3 okay can you see now that even our second difference here is what is common to show that those values on top they were actually really correct this is the second difference right once we have done this right we can actually use the same approach that we use while finding the general formula or an equation of a quadratic sequence to determine the value of a b and c i think that was the trick part of this question it's not really far from the question that's want you to get the equation of a quadratic sequence it's just that you are not actually given the terms in this case you are actually given from the second difference and you are only given one term in the quadratic sequence hence it was bit trick and all that all right so now we have uh first difference second difference how can we get the value of a we do know the number of formulas we use right 
a is actually equals to the second difference divided by what by 2 very simple in this case our a is going to be what is our second difference 3 divided by what divided by 2 we got the value of a now i can just go back here my a is 3 over 2 okay we are done with a let's move to b now to get the value of b we say 3a plus b remember this formula that is used also if you are wanting the general formula 3a plus b is equals to the first value of the first difference in other words is equals to term 2 minus term 1 of the quadratic sequence and in this case is actually the first term of the first difference okay we already have a right what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna substitute my a which is 3 over 2 then we say plus b is equals to term 2 minus term 1 which is the first value of the first difference negative 1 right so this is 3 times 3 9 over 2 plus b is equals to negative 1 then when we solve for b negative 1 we transpose minus 9 over 2 then b is equals to what minus 1 minus 9 over 2 which is minus 11 over 2 so that that would be our value of b okay can you see b is equals to negative 11 over 2 okay let us now go to c we have a we have b how can we get c guys the same approach we use while finding the equation for a quadratic sequence here won't really be applicable for c right remember if we use the idea that a plus b plus c is equals to term number one we don't have term number one we have a we have b we don't have c so this can't be used right we can't use this but there's something that we are given remember in maths there's no information that is given for charity every information must be used it's very important they don't just give you statements in maths for charity right every statement must be used so we have already used this one that gave us the first difference formula now obviously we do know that we haven't used the idea that term 11 is equals to 125 right so we're gonna use that actually to go and solve for c right because we do know that from from the quadratic formula if we say term 11 uh where there is n we substitute 11 squared plus b 11 plus what plus c then we know term 11 we know a we know b we can go and solve for what for c okay i think this this is quite easier so term 11 is 125 our a is 3 over 2 11 squared is 121 plus our b is negative 11 over 2 uh into 11 plus what plus c okay we can just quickly use a calculator to get the answer for this punch on your calculator the answer is 121 all right plus what c so to solve for c c will be equals to 125 minus 121 then our value of c is equals to what is equals to 4 okay excellent our c is now 4 now let's go back to the question determine the first term of the sequence we had already expressed the first term of the sequence it's a plus b plus what plus c okay so obviously the first term of the sequence our a 3 over 2 our b negative 11 over 2 plus what plus 4 All right then you can just punch this on your calculator the answer is equals to zero quite surprising right the first term is actually zero okay uh, i hope you find this helpful thank you